right, let's practice converting metric units involving fractions. We need to convert and simplify answers and write it as either a proper fraction, whole number, or mixed number. Okay, so we have blank kiloliters and we need to switch it to that from 800 liters. Okay, so we are going from liters to kiloliters. I know that one kiloliter is the same, I'm making that an L, uppercase L, 1,000 liters, okay? So to figure that out, we're going from a large unit to a small unit. So I need to do 800 divided by 1,000. Okay, 800, can 1,000 go into it? It can't, okay? It can't. But I can add a decimal, and I can make this zero here. Can 1,000 go into 8,000? Why, yes, yes, it can. So that is 8. And then I subtract and I get zero. Okay, so that means that I have eight tenths of a kiloliter. Okay, so if I have eight tenths of a kiloliter, that's great, but what did we say? It has to be a proper fraction, whole or mixed number, and it must be reduced. So we have eight tenths. Let's make that a fraction. 8 tenths. Can I simplify 8 tenths? Yes, I can simplify 8 tenths by dividing both of them by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that is 4 fifths of a kiloliter. Next one. I need to go from meters to decimeters. Okay, so first thing I need to know, how many meters are in a decimeter? Okay, so there are 10 meters in one decimeter. Okay, so we are going from we are converting between these two. So if I have half a meter, how many decimeters will that be? There are 10 decimeters in a meter. I did that backwards. There are 10 decimeters. There are 10 decimeters in one meter. Okay, so to figure this out, I need to know what is half of 10. What is half of 10, or 10 divided by two? That equals five. Okay, next one, I'm going from millimeters to meters, okay? So that means there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. So that means since I'm going from small to large, I need to divide, okay? So I need to do 700 divided by 1,000. Okay, but 1,000 doesn't go into 700, but I can add on the decimal and the zero. So 
1,000 can go into 7,000 seven times. And then I subtract and I have zero. Okay, but I need to keep it as a proper fraction, whole number, or mixed number. So I'm going to take the 7 tenths and change it into a fraction. So that equals 7 tenths, and that's already simplified. Okay, next one. I am going from millimeters to centimeters. Okay, so we are going from millimeters to centimeters, so that means we need to divide by 10. So 7 divided by 10. Can 10 go into 7? No, it can't. So I'm going to add on the decimal and the zero. 10 can go on to 77 times. And I have nothing left over. So 0 and 7 tenths as a fraction is 7 over 10. 7 tenths. Next one. Which is more, 1,103 milligrams or 3 fifth grams? Hmm, okay. So let's change 1,103 milligrams into grams, okay? So 1,103 milligrams to grams. Okay, well, there are 1,000 milligrams in a gram, okay? So the shortcut for that is how many zeros do we have here? Three. So watch what I do to my decimal. I'm going to move it over to three. One, two, three, okay? So if I change that over, I have... 1 and 103,000 grams. Is that more than 3 fifths of a gram? Yes, it is. So 1,103 is greater. Okay, next one. We have 4 fifths of a meter and we're going to decimeter. Okay, four fifths of a meter, and we want to change it to decimeters. Well, one meter equals 10 decimeters. Okay, so how do I figure this out? Okay, so I need to multiply. I need to do four fifths times 10. And to make it easier, I'm going to make my 10 an improper fraction. And now I can just multiply across. 4 times 10 is 40, and 5 times 1 is 5. But I can't leave it as an improper fraction. I need to simplify it, okay? So 40 over 5. How many times does 5 go in to 40. It goes in at eight times. Okay, so my answer is actually one whole eight. Okay, so my answer is eight. All right, next one. We are going from decimeters to centimeters. All right, so one decimeter equals 10 centimeters. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to do what I did just like in the last problem. I have two fifths and I need to multiply it by 10. And we're making it an improper fraction and then we can multiply right across. We have 20 and five. Okay, can I simplify this? Yes, I can. I can divide both by five. And 
I get 4. 4 over 1 is the same as 4. Okay, next one. We are going from meter to centimeter. Okay, well, 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. Okay, so again, I need to multiply. I'm going to do 3 fifths times 100. We need to make it an improper fraction to multiply. Okay, so 3 times 100 is 300. And 5 times 1 is 5. I can simplify it though, dividing both by 5. Okay, so 5 divided by 5 is 1. 300 divided by 5 is 60. So my answer is 60. All right, next one. We are going from millimeters to meters. Okay, so this time we need to divide. So I have 1,000 millimeters divided by 1,000 because there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. So what's 1,000 divided by 1,000? One, and there's nothing left over. So my answer is one. Let's do one more. We have four-fifths of a kilometer and we want to change it to meters. Well, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So we need to multiply four-fifths times 1,000. And again, we need to make it an improper fraction. So now I have 4,000 over five. I need to simplify it. So I will divide both by five. One, okay, and 800. So 800 over one is the same as 800. Great job converting these metric units.